Hey, my name is Bhavani Kola. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, this channel is all about educational tools, tips and technology. So if you don't want to miss out on all the fun, please make sure you subscribe. YouTube tells me that 90% of my viewers are not subscribing to my channel. Leave a comment in the comment section below. How can I improve and win your subscription? It's been a great first week back to school. I've taken up two new courses, so tons of worksheets to work on. So I'm going to keep this video really small and simple. In today's video, I will be teaching you how to create a course banner for Canvas using Canva. Canvas, Canva, Canvas, Canva. Is that confusing? But trust me, you will enjoy this. So without a further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into Canva to create for canvas so here I am logged into Canva as an educator as you can see I use Canva for almost everything for my course card course banners for my worksheets for my YouTube thumbnails and much more but today let's go ahead and see how to create a canvas course banner using Canva to do that, let's go ahead and click on custom size. I tried to look up for the size, but I couldn't find the one that fits my course page. So this is the one that I use, which is 14 inches in height and 74 in width. I'm going to go ahead and click on create. It kind of looks something like this, but again, you can always customize the width and height as per your requirement. So let's go back here. And as soon as I click on my blank Canva page, this little rainbow box pops up telling me that I can change my background colors to whatever I want. And if you don't like plain colors, you can always click on the background tab on your left hand side and choose different patterns or pictures. If you're teaching graphics, if you're teaching art, maybe this is what you want. But now I'm going to click on photos and I'm going to make sure I have a blackboard image in my background. And I typed in blackboard and this is what popped up. Let me delete the background and let me go ahead and expand this and make sure this fits my background. And there I have it. This looks like a very plain blackboard. What I want to do is I want to embed some writing on it so it kind of looks professional. To do that, I'm going to click on elements and I'm going to type in math. And here are all the multiple elements that I can place inside my picture. I'm going to scroll down. I think I like this. This is going to be for a pre-calculus class and this is perfect. I'm going to enlarge it. Uh, this looks good. I'm going to change the transparency because this kind of overpowers the blackboard. So I'm going to click on this little box here that says transparency and I'm going to move it until... Yeah, I think I like 18. I'm going to keep it like that. Once I like the transparency, I'm going to go ahead and copy this by simply clicking on this duplicate button right here. I'm going to duplicate it three times. So I'm going to move this all the way to the left and all the way to the right here, actually. I'm going to scroll this to the right further. And there I have it. And once I'm done and happy with the transparency, I think I'm going to change it just a little bit further to 17. I think I like that transparency. I changed it to 12. And once I'm happy with the transparency and the image, I'm going to go ahead and lock it so I don't move it around. To lock your images, all you have to do is click on this lock sign. As you can see, the lock is unlocked. So when I click on it, it locks in place. Let me lock this one too and this one as well. And now I have a blackboard with some kind of writing on it. And again, you can always pick and choose from anything you want. You can customize it to an animation, but I wanted to keep it very simple. Once this is done, I want to add like a border to my course banner so I can type something on the border. I would like to type my favorite quote and my email and my phone number. But before I do that, I want to go ahead and add my picture so I can customize it. So I'm going to click on my uploads and I'm going to scroll down to see the one that I like. I like this one. And I'm going to expand this. And I think this size is good enough. So I'm going to keep it like that. And now I'm going to add borders to my banner. I'm going to click on elements and I'm going to make a square shape here. And as you can see, Canva automatically picks up the colors of your image, which is a good thing. I don't have to pick and choose which one I want. This is thick enough and I'm going to drag it all the way to my right hand side. And I'm going to copy this one. I'm going to move it all the way to the bottom here.
And once this is done, I want to make sure my image is in the front. To do that, I'm going to click on my image, click on position, and I'm going to make sure it moves all the way to the front. And there I have it. And now I'm going to lock the banners, lock them, and lock them. There you go. I, I can still move my image. Now what I want to do is I want to create an animation that says, Welcome to Miss Cola's Math Class. So let me click on text. Let me click on add subheading and I'm going to type in welcome to Miss Cola's math class. And once I typed in, I'm going to go ahead and change the font by clicking on this little tab right here. I'm going to change it to Anton, increase the size. That's good. Yeah, that size is good enough, but I don't like it to be a straight text. I want it to go around my hands. So what I'm going to do is click on effects and I'm going to make it a curve. And as you can see, this is a curve i'm going to move it all the way to the top here and i think i'm going to expand it by dragging it further and moving that's good and i want to go ahead and animate this one so i'm going to click on my text click on animate and i'm going to see what i want i think a typewriter looks yeah a typewriter looks cool that's good I'm going to move it slightly above my head and I am going to click on effects again and I'm going to increase or decrease the curve. That's good. And I'm going to drag it so it fits in perfectly. And let's go ahead and see how it looks. I'm going to play it. Oh, that looks good. And now once this is done, I'm going to go ahead and lock this one. So here I just gave you an example of how to add your email address here, so, but I would go ahead and put my email address. So every time my students see the banner, they know exactly what my email address is and my phone number is. So my email goes right here and the phone number goes right here. And I'm also gonna go ahead and add my favorite quote. So I'm gonna click on add subheading. So I went ahead and added my favorite quote. I'm gonna go ahead and change the text, the font. I'm going to expand that and I'm gonna move it all the way on the top here and again you can always go ahead and play with these fonts let me see i'm gonna click here and see how this one looks mm. yeah i think i'm gonna i'm gonna keep it to this this font here so go ahead go ahead and play around and see which font you like but I i'm gonna keep it to this font and i have my email address i have my phone number but what i would like to do now is to go ahead and add the course name to do that i'm gonna click on add heading i'm gonna type in my course math 2412 it's on mondays wednesdays and it is pre-calculus again i'm gonna change the font i'm gonna increase the size and here in my text, you see that there's a lot of gap between the two lines. I can go ahead and reduce that by clicking on the spacing tab and decreasing the line space. That way, everything fits in perfectly inside the banner. I like that. And I'm going to expand it just a little bit. That's good enough for me. I'm going to move it, make sure it's centered. That's good. And now what I want to do is I want to add just one element to my banner. So I'm going to click on elements. And I'm going to go ahead and type in graduation. I'm going to scroll all the way down. And I like this little PNG file here. I'm going to go ahead, drag it all the way to the side. And as soon as you click on the file, if you see this color tab popping up, that means you can go ahead and change the color. So let me click on the color. In here, I want to change it to white. I'm going to drag it all the way up here so I can expand it. And now let me go ahead and play it. Well, that looks good to me. And now the next step is to save it. If you want to add animations to all of these texts, you can simply click on animation and add all your animations. But I don't like it to be too animated because I don't want it to affect the eyes. This is good enough for me. And if you don't like the colors, always click on the styles here and see which colors you would like. So that's that. You can shuffle it. And as you can see, it changes the colors with the font. And if you want this, as you can see, it is changing the colors with the font. So go ahead and play with what you like. See which one you like here. And it also gives you all these different options and colors. So let me go back to this. And I'm going to shuffle to see the color that I want. I think this is good enough. And once you are happy with your banner, the next step is to go ahead and save it. You don't want to save this as a video file. You're going to click on download. 
you're going to scroll down here and make sure you click and save this as a GIF, which is a short clip. So click on it and click download. Once you're done downloading, all you have to do is go into your Canvas homepage, click on images, click on upload and go ahead and click on the GIF, the GIF that you uploaded and click submit and then save. And here is exactly how this is going to look. You can always go back to your Canva page and use your styles and customize the colors, the fonts, however you want it to be. I hope you enjoyed this session. I hope you learned how to create your Canvas banners using Canva. If you did, please make sure you like and subscribe. If you think it's worth sharing, please go ahead and do so. They could be educators who want to customize their courses just like you and me. I'll leave a link in the description box below about Microsoft Teams, Canvas and technology playlists. Do not forget to check them out. And please don't forget to comment in the comment section below if you would like to see more Canva videos. Like always, happy teaching and please take care of yourself.